it actually bought a new coin listing. Wow. Hey guys, this is Andre and for the past two weeks I've been testing a cryptocurrency trading algorithm that aims to buy a new coin the moment that it gets listed on Binance. I've come across several issues and I had to fix a lot of stuff before actually making this work but I'm happy to say that it finally bought a coin within 0.3 seconds of it being listed on Binance. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around and please consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. If you're curious to try this out yourself, I've included a test mode which means that you can actually play around with it without the risk of losing any money. I will leave a link to the GitHub repo in the description below as well as a step-by-step -step guide on my blog. So feel free to check out these resources below if you want to play around with it. Um, it's all free, so um, yeah, just um, enjoy. Now without further ado, let's jump into it and figure out what actually happened. Okay, let's talk strategy here for a moment. The idea behind this trading bot was to buy the initial coin listing price down here and to ride this increase and then sell up here for some nice gains. Now you probably figure this needs to happen extremely quickly, anything less than a few milliseconds would probably just not do. So this is how things went down. The first iteration of the bot was able to detect new coins within about 20 seconds of them being listed. Now I go and I write this code and then I start running it. I leave it for a few days and bam, we have a new coin listing and the script breaks here. Okay, let's try and fix that. And while we're at it, let's also try and fix the speed since that seems to be an issue. So the second iteration of the bot is able to detect the new coin listing within five seconds of it being listed and let that run and bam, new error, okay? Well, let's fix the new error and while we're at it, let's also try and improve the speed. Bear in mind that the speed limitation was imposed uh, by me because I didn't want to uh, spam the Binance API. But then I thought, what the hell, let's just do it. So I took off all of the breaks and decided to let the algorithm loose on the Binance API. Okay, so now the algorithm is hopefully fixed and is able to buy a new coin within 0.3 seconds of it being listed on Binance. So I'm really happy about it and I posted it on Reddit. And at this point, I would uh, actually really like to thank Reddit user Stex13, who's made significant improvements to the speed. Um, it's now able to buy at 0.2 seconds um, of the coin being listed on Binance, and he's made a new PR request, which would bring it down to a minimum of 0.1 seconds. Uh, so anyway, so the code is now running at 0.2 seconds, speed of execution, and to my knowledge, all of the errors are fixed. And the day comes. This morning actually finally comes and it buys GNO. So this here is what the bot did in under a second of GNO being listed on Binance. First of all, it detected GNO, symbol GNO USDT at price 394. It prepared to buy GNO, it placed a test order uh, with 0.038 and then uh, it's just telling us that the um, pairing, the additional pairing options um, do not match our choice, which in this case is USDT. And then shortly after it sold the coin at three, minus 3.7. So bear in mind this whole thing lasted about 0 0.3, 0 0.5 seconds, the detection, the buying and the selling. And within this time, the coin already pumped and was on its way down. So it became quite clear to me that I need to work on the speed a little bit more. So the fact that it detected GNO at 394 means that someone or rather something, some other faster algorithm managed to take advantage of the initial coin listing and buy at that lower price in order to raise the price point. Now obviously raises the question, where do we go from here? And there are actually two ways we can go about it. The one option would be to further improve the speed of execution. So to get the bot to actually run at 0.1 seconds. So effectively just doubling the speed of execution. Or the second option would be to reverse the orders. Instead of placing buy orders at an all time high and then writing it all the way down like um, Buffett, Warren, 
buy high, sell low. Anyway, so instead of doing that, we would just revert the orders and place sell orders instead. Yeah, if we're catching it at all time high, then that doesn't mean that we shouldn't take advantage of it. So this is what I'll be doing going forward. I will test out both strategies and then report back with some hopefully more exciting results. I will try and merge Stex13 PR into the current code to see if uh, an extra 0.1 seconds of speed will benefit the code. And if that doesn't seem to be the case, then I will just reverse the orders and place times one leverage feature sell orders on Binance to see how that works out. Okay, let's talk about the verdict of this strategy. I think personally the jury is still out with this kind of strategy works. I think it does have potential to work provided that it's being optimized properly. I think if the speed of execution is being reduced to a level where you can actually compete in an order book and be one of the first ones to place the orders, this can prove a pretty fruitful strategy. That being said though, it might be easier to, um, well, think about it conceptually rather than do it because as I'm sure a lot of other people are aware, there are a lot of bots that um, are probably already taking advantage of this in a lot more efficient way. So going forward, I think it can work provided that you can reduce the speed or provided that you can, as I mentioned before, swap the order. So instead of doing buy orders, you do sell orders. All in all, I think it's um, it does have the potential to work. I just think it needs a little bit more TLC. So um, yeah, as I said, I'll make some improvements to the tool. I'll try both strategies out and see what comes out of it. Hopefully it will work. Um, if not, there will always be a new bot that I'm going to try out. Now, if this is something you want to follow, if this is something you want to try out yourself, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that notification bell. I've left all of the resources in the description below, so please feel free to check out the guide on GitHub uh, and my blog for uh, more details on how to run this bot yourself. It comes with a test mode, so you can run it um, basically without uh, risking any money. Cool. Speak to you next time.